All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ethan's Custom Lures. And today we're gonna to be doing another lure painting video. This pattern we're gonna be doing is a super easy beginner friendly pattern that almost anybody can do. Today we're gonna to be doing on this little square bill S crank blank. I got these from Barlow's Tackle and I just wanted to talk about Barlow's Tackle for just a second before we get into the painting. Barlow's Tackle is a great website if you're getting into lure painting. They have all sorts of great lure painting products. Um, they have literally pretty much everything for lure painting, and then they also have stuff for like worm making. So I got this blank at Barlow's Tackle. Um, I got my Plastisol over here for my soft plastics from Barlow's Tackle, and then all these lures that have been painted up here, all those blanks also came from Barlow's Tackle. So make sure to go check out the link in the description. I'll earn a small commission off that, and that will help me to continue making awesome lure painting videos and painting custom lures. So make sure to go check them out and then let's get into the lure. All right guys, so we got the bill taped up on this lure. And if you've watched my videos before, you have seen an old crusty lure helping hand tool. And this thing is like old and nasty, not shiny or anything. We got a new one. So that's just a little something happy around here. We're gonna try and keep this a little bit cleaner than the last one, but like I said, we're doing a super easy pattern. Um, I've actually painted this twice. So this is the pattern we're painting. So we got some orange on the tail and underneath and then some green and a black on the top. Uh, the base coat is just gonna be that pearl silver that I showed you all at the beginning. It's really an easy pattern. Um, and this is actually my first, you can see I've been using it cause it's got grass on it, but this is actually the first lure I ever painted. And I thought it turned out pretty good for my first try. But I mean, simple pattern. So if you're getting into lure painting and you're wanting to paint your own first lure, this would be a great pattern to choose. But without further ado, let's get into it. First thing, like I said, pearlized silver. We're just gonna do the whole thing in a base coat. All right, let's get that silver coat in. So it's a little on the uh, wet side, so we're gonna heat set it real quick. All right, let's get another coat. All right, so we got our nice little shiny coat of pearlized silver. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but in the light, it does really give it a nice shimmer, which will kind of imitate a bait fish. So that'll be a good little aspect of it. Um, the next color we're going to do is this Pearl Lime Createx. Uh, Barlow's Tackle also does have these. I'll make sure to link them in the description. But we're going to focus this. Um, there's this little lateral line there, if you can kind of see that, where it comes out from the back of the gill. Um, but what we're going to do is do it just above that line, and we're not going to go anything below it. Also, always remember when you're working with pearlized paints, to shake them up because they can separate and that's not good. So we're just gonna add just a few drops of this pearl lime. One, two, three, four, five-ish, something like that. And then we're just gonna hit it uh, up here. I'm gonna turn my paint down on my gun quite a bit just cause I don't want it going everywhere. All right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. We'll probably heat set it and then we'll move on to our next color, which will be black. All right, so with this black, we're just gonna hit the top of this lure um, just to darken it up a little bit. And we're gonna do something that I did not do on one of the other, or on the two other ones I did. You can see these don't have anything, it's just black on the top. But I think I'm gonna add just like a little fin right in that area to this one, just to give it a little bit more character. So let's hit the black on the back. Open the paint up some more. All right, sorry about that guys, but the uh, air compressor decided to kick on and be super loud. So let's finish adding that black. All right, 
right, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I didn't want to do like a full back this black. I just kind of wanted a pretty thin line on there, and I think we accomplished that. The next thing will be to grab my stencil and do a little fin. Okay, on so I've got my stencil up on here. I'm just going to hit it once or twice. I do not want to like saturate this or it'll run. Okay, there we go. We got a little fin on there. We'll do this. Also, the make sure in between to heat set this and get all the paint off because you can see how it's shiny. If I stick that on the other side, it'll not be good and it'll get it smeared. All right, guys, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, I think I got them lined up pretty good. Nothing smeared, so that's that's good. Um, also, before we move on, I'm just going to hit up and darken around the eyes just because I think it would look pretty cool. There's a little dark there, and then we'll darken on this side. I think that looks pretty cool. I want to darken up just on the nose there, and I think that is good. Now the next color we're going to be doing is orange. We're going to hit up just behind the tail and up behind the gill plate. And with this orange, I swapped over to my $20 airbrush I got on Amazon if you'd like a review on how this works um go check out the video it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen uh pretty nice airbrush but i've got some orange loaded up in the gun and what i like to do is start on the uh bill where i've got it taped up just in case it decides to like run all over the place and it doesn't do it on my bait so i'll just do it a little orange on there All right, I'm thinking that's pretty good. It's really wet, so just don't want to mess anything up, so I'm going to heat it real quick. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Now we're just going to hit the tail a little bit. And now, like, with the tail, you really just kind of have to start on your bait. There's no real, like, good place to start. And there we go. All right, guys, so the last step will be to put some eyes on. And as you can see, I'm kind of running out of eyes. Probably need to go get some more. Um, but we're going to be using some of these kind of amber orange color here. Uh, these aren't even the right size. They're close. I think these are probably like 5 millimeter. But you really need something. You need like a, a 6 for this blank. And I typically don't show me putting my eyes on there. But I figured just because kind of a beginner video, I thought I'd just show you guys. And I do it differently than some people do, but um, I take my eye here, and I just dropped it out of these pliers. But I'll just take it in the needle nose, and I'll do that, get them there. And I've got my bait sitting like this so the eye will not, like, run off. I'll take my super glue, put a little dot on there, do some more than that. And then I'll just take my eye, kind of drop it on there, and then I will slide it and get it how I want. And then boom, you got your eye on there. Um, that's it, guys, really. That's all you got to do. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. That's it. I'll get the other eye on there in just a minute. But um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, uh, make sure to like it so other people will be able to watch it. And then if you've got like any video ideas you think I should do or patterns, make sure to comment below. And then I think I might do like a what you need to get started video for lure painters. So um, if you would like that, just make sure to uh, let me know and I'll get that to you. Make sure to subscribe and go watch another Ethan's Custom Lures video.